Hey y'all, it's Allison from Main Street Flamingo, and today I have got a crazy easy and super inexpensive craft for you. Today's DIY is this adorable little Halloween garland that is so easy and crazy inexpensive. Everybody wants to decorate this time of the year, and you know, sometimes people's budgets aren't super big for them to be spending on seasonal items, or maybe they just don't want to put so much effort into it. This is perfect for you. First, you're going to start out with some cutouts, wooden cutouts from any dollar store, Dollar Tree. These were purchased at the Dollar Tree, and they come in little packs of like five or six. And they are naked, so I went ahead and painted them and put added a little bit of whimsy to them. Right here, I'm taking my jute twine that I'm going to use as my garland. You just measure out the area that you want to use or where, where you want to put your garland. I measured on my mantle, and I can't remember exactly how long it was, maybe about four feet. So what you want to do is start in the middle and work your way out. So I had five wooden cutouts all together and they were two different styles. One were pumpkins and one were ghosts. So I knew I was going to do three pumpkins and two ghosts. And one thing you want to remember is as you are gluing these down, you want to make sure that they are spaced evenly. And as you can see right here, I am spacing, my, I'm using my measuring tape and I am spacing my wooden cutouts eight inches apart. Lord y'all, sorry I am not in frame. Okay, so now that we have our precious little jack-o'-lanterns and ghosts all hot glued down to our twine, it is time to place the ribbon. And I'm also using some of this super adorable scrap ribbon that I purchased in a pack from Michaels. I believe the pack was $9.99, but if you use your Michaels coupon that you can always download on your phone or take with you, you will get 40% off. So that's, you know, a little more than $5, which is not a bad price for the amount that you get. So I just cut those parts equal to what I had already cut the chunkier ribbon, the Harlequin looking orange and black ribbon that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. And I just wanted to make sure that those were all equal. All right, darlings, now it's time for the fun. It's time for us to tie these little bows on and you just go in between equally in between each wooden cutout and just tie the ribbon. I laid down the orange and black chunky ribbon first. I tied those down all the way through. Then I went back and tied the lace and rick rack type ribbon that I had chose to go along with this, I tied that after. Y'all, seasonal crafting doesn't get any easier and any inexpensive than this. This is absolutely an adorable garland and it's sure to brighten up any space or any area you put it in and it will definitely add whimsy to your life. Thank you so much for watching and if you would like to become a part of our flock, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Give us a big thumbs up because it always helps the channel. Leave a little comment and tell me what you've been making lately and if you plan to make one of these. Also, hit that notification bell so you are notified every time we upload a video. Thank you so much for watching, and every day, keep life magical.